In this video, I'm going to give you an exercise which you can complete using Boolean operators. And probably it'd be quite hard to complete it without Boolean operators. So hopefully you've had a bit of a practice of Boolean operators now. If not, I definitely recommend doing that. And I'm going to give you this exercise and I'm going to leave it open-ended as to how you do it. And in the next videos, we'll look at two possible ways that you could approach this that are somewhat different. So the program should ask the user three questions. It asks, are you a student? And they can answer yes or no. It asks, do you have pets? And it asks, do you smoke? So the program decides whether you're allowed to rent a property. So it decides whether the property is available to you. So after asking you these questions, it's either going to print property available or property unavailable. And to decide whether you're allowed to rent this property, it's going to apply several criteria. So if you're a student, it's only going to let you rent the property if you don't have pets and you don't smoke either. So a student who smokes or a student who has pets, they can't rent the property. If you're a student, you can rent the property, but only if you don't do either of those things. Why? I don't know. Let's just pretend that the person who owns the property has something against students. If you're not a student, you can rent the property if you smoke and you can rent the property if you have pets. But if you smoke and you also have pets, you're not allowed to rent the property, even if you're not a student. So hopefully that's reasonably clear. Have a read of this and see if you can write this program in absolutely any way you like. And if the program works, then basically you've succeeded. Hello, you've been watching a free sample from my Python and machine learning for complete beginners course. I'm uploading enough videos from the start of the course to get you started with Python and machine learning. The full course is absolutely massive. If you're interested in it, please click the link in the description. The complete course covers not only basic Python, but also some fairly advanced Python, even some desktop programming stuff, and then goes on to machine learning and artificial intelligence. Until next time, happy coding.